I just received Franklin Covey starter pack. Let's review it together. In my last video, I opened and set up my planner with Franklin Day on Two Pages Carrera Planner. And today I want to add to it a starter pack. So when you get a daily planner from Franklin Covey, you get monthlies and you get dailies and basically pretty much it. Besides that, Franklin has other products and one of them is the starter pack. In fact, they recommend for you to get a starter pack anytime you get a planner or anytime you switch from one size to another because this is where the basis of their planning system resides. Weekly planning, goal planning, roles, a lot of things like that. So I decided to go ahead and get a starter pack to uh, add to my planner to really maximize my planning as I'm working this year on achieving many of my goals. So let's open this up. So this one is in compact size because this planner is Moterm Personal and Moterm Personal actually fits Franklin compact size, which is four and a quarter by 6.75 inches. So this particular pack is in compact. They also have classic size. They also have pocket size. So classic is bigger than this, about half page, and pocket is smaller than this, about same size as Lectrum A6 minus. So if I understand it correctly, it is called a starter pack, because A, it has all your goal setting sheets, which, you know, gets you started with your goal planning, but it also has a lot of samplers of other forms that they have. So you have some number of them. And then if you want to continue with them after you try them out, then you can buy them in bigger packs. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. I've seen videos where these being reviewed, but some of them a couple years old. So I don't know if it's the same set or not. So I'm really excited to open this together with you and see what's inside. So let me set this to the side for a second. All right, so here we have the cover for the pack itself. Uh, just says starter pack, Franklin Covey, introduction to planner guide. So kind of gives you a peek what's inside and it gives you a listing of all the items that are in there. And then starting here from the top. Uh, okay, so these are tabs. So as you can see, they are two sided. So then you peel it off, fold it and glue it on your tabs because I believe there are some uh, generic tabs here, like one, two, three, four. So you can customize the tabs that you already have, or if you have tabs from somebody else, dividers with tabs, you can use these. Here we have community, sharpen the saw, emails, websites, medical, clients, uh, fitness, projects, friends, family, school, shopping list, phone calls, quotes, household, travel, voicemail, journal, notes, financial. As you can see, a very widespread of business and also personal type of tabs. And these are, you know, not mandatory. These are just options that you can have. They're also going to give you ideas of what you can have in your Franklin planner. And there are also a number of them that are blank. So then you can write in by yourself uh, what you want the tab to be and then use this tab. So this is like a sticky slash thick paper. And as you can see, it already hold punch. So you can use these or keep them in your planner because Franklin Covey planner is designed to be all in one and have all the things that you need in one place without having them all over. Because of that, all of their supplies and inserts have the holes to be able to put them in your planner and carry them along. So these are tabs. All right, this one, I was really looking forward to getting this one and I was wondering if they still provide it and they do. As you can see, it's a page finder, right? It's a ruler, it's a page finder that you put in your planner so then you can locate day easily or week or whatever place you want to uh, delineate with this. So this one is quite flexible. It has uh, the holes here and you can just peel it off and put it back in without opening the rings. And with this one, it's not a simple page finder or ruler. Uh, it is a both, right? You have uh, inches here and you have a page finder, which is, you know, you just grab it and open your planner where the page is. But this one also has this clear pocket here. Let me peel it off. So this pocket here is supposed to hold your weekly focus. So I believe they call it weekly compass. Uh, yeah, these are the pages right here. And uh, what uh, the way they work is you fill out the compass for the week. Uh, this is actually two on the same page. So you um, bend it and tear it in half and then put that half in here. 
and for the week you line up what your focus is and then it's like a guide for you as you go through the week so instead of having like a full-on weekly spread you can have your weekly goals on here and then you move it through your dailies as you go but your weekly plan kind of stays on here so this is the ruler which i'm very excited about because right now i have a page finder here which says, has this tab with today this one is from my term and i really love it i put it in my weeklies on the you know on the week that i'm in and i just go there to fill out my weekly spread but because I also have daily pages, I really needed another page finder so then I can go to my day that I'm on. And basically this is what it's going to uh, do. This is what I'm gonna use this for. So now let's look at this weekly compass page. So here's the weekly compass. So this is actually two forms. Uh, there are two weeks worth. Uh, if you fold it here, there is a perforation and then you tear it off. And then there is another perforation here. So you basically end up with a strip like this which you fill out and insert in this ruler, as I mentioned. You can see also they are punch holes, so then you can keep the rest of them in your planner or you can keep them in your special holder, uh, which is basically a trading binder, the one that you're supposed to store your forms that you're not using until you need them. And then what it contains is this. So you have your weekly compass and you have uh, you put the date of, uh, basically the dates of that week, you know, from two. And then you have several sections. The one at the very top called Sharpen the Saw. And that's a terminology used by the Franklin Coffee Company, which basically focus on you, right? So this is the section where you focus on you specifically. So you have physical, uh, social, emotional, uh, mental, and spiritual. And then you put what your priority is to yourself, how you would improve yourself in these categories during this week. And from videos that I've watched, you can have uh, different ways of using it. Some of the examples are physical. You will say uh, walk 15 minutes each day, uh, social, uh, you know, go out on a date with your spouse, uh, mental, meditate for 10 minutes every day, and spiritual, you can say write an affirmation or go to church or say a prayer, whatever you know works for you. Then next ones are different roles. So the part of the theory of a Franklin Covey system is that we all play roles in our lives and we each play multiple roles for example me i play a role of a mother of a wife of a daughter of a co-worker of a boss of project manager i have so many different roles right and there are many more than spaces here but what you do is the whole point of this is you might have 15 20 different roles in your life that you play at any time of the day but for the week you want to focus on only specific number and you cannot exceed these more than there are spaces here and so for example if i want in this upcoming week to focus on my role as a mother meaning you know, I'm gonna talk with my daughter, I'm gonna help her with her prom plans, uh, you know, I'm gonna review her homework. As a role as a wife, you know, I'm gonna go out on a date with my husband. Role as a daughter, I'm gonna help my dad set up his landline. Role as a boss, I'm gonna talk to my uh, co-workers or my um, underlings and make sure they're okay and see what help they need. My role as a writer, I will brainstorm a new story for 10 minutes every day. Things like that. So basically, it's whatever resonates with you, whatever role you feel you have in your life and what you want for that role, what do you want to focus on? Because the whole point of Franklin Covey's system is to prioritize your goals and not get overwhelmed by everything that needs to be because everything seems to be urgent and important and then nothing is. So they want you not just focus on your goals, but also focus on your roles and how that role then fits in within your goal, your larger life and the balance in your life. So basically that's in a roundabout way how the compass works. And if you go on the Franklin Covey website, they have a whole course that explains how everything works. I'll link to it in the description down below. So basically, um, this is how this would be. I would tear off this half and there are also notes spaces on the back. So in case if you want to clarify for yourself on the roles that you picked for that week, uh, you can write your notes here or whatever else you need for that week. And there are also uh, kind of uh, notes here that help you how to plan weekly and how to plan daily. So there are enough of these compass sheets for the whole week. So there are 52 of them. So let me get to the point where they end. So as you can see, all of these are your weekly compass. So there are quite few. All right. 
Then next, uh, you have the introduction to your planner. So in the planner, the daily one that I got, there is one sheet that basically tells you how to use it. But because this is a starter pack, uh, it has way more instructions in it because this is how you would start with the system if you haven't read uh, anything about the system or if you haven't seen any videos or, or went on their website for the class. So because of that, there are way more pages in here which explain you in detail how the actual Franklin Covey planning system works. Uh, you know they tell you the components of the planner they tell you how to achieve your goals how to identify your values goals and plan weekly and then daily explains you in detail how you do that how you plan weekly how you plan uh, daily how you transfer tasks from one place to another how you prioritize your things uh, this is talks about your values and your mission section so all of this stuff so after they explain you how it works and how to do it they provide you with actual sheets to work through all of this. So these are your worksheets. So this specific one is values. And the reason that it's first, because the Franklin Covey system is based on values. Your values are at the bottom of the pyramid, right? This is their systems pyramid. Your values are on the bottom because they basically, they are base for everything that you do. From there, using your values, you decide what your goals are, and then from those goals, you plan them out. So because of that, all the forms here you have are in that same order. You have a sheet for your values, and as you can imagine, we all have more than one value. There is an example of how value they can be and how to clarify it. So instead of just saying my value is freedom, or my value is learning, or my value is love, you also define for yourself in statements and clarifying statements what do you actually mean by that and you have more than one to really look at different aspects of the same value so you have three value space here one two three four five so you have space for eight values altogether and then from there you also go and define roles so those are the same roles i've been talking about in the weekly compass and again they explain you for example the sample they have here is my role is graphic designer so it can be just like that it doesn't have to be necessarily like your uh, you know, in your family role, but also at work. And then uh, what people are related to that role, so like people that are related to the role of this person, a supervisor, editors and customers, or for example, if your role is a parent, then the people relate to you are your children, right? Or if your role is a, a daughter or a son, then people who relate to you would be your parents. And then you also have a clarifying statement about your role, like what do you see your role is and how do you see yourself in that role. And they have again sheets where you can define them. And because these are, you know, quite deep thought processes, they do give you helpful questions and space to really work through it and think through it. I personally have been doing mine in a notebook, so then I don't have to worry about space and just write freely, but I was using them as a draft, so then I wanna copy them in here cleanly to have these in my planner where I can see them. So in this activity, you uh, have questions where you can find, uh, ask yourself, for example, what one thing could you accomplish in your professional life that would have the most positive impact? And then you have same question for your personal life. So it really helps you think of what is important to you, what goals you want to achieve, and then that planner will help you achieve them, right? To help you break down this big goal into smaller pieces and really keep you focused on it. Then this next activity is be, do, have. If you've been in self-improvement community for any length of time, you would have heard a be, do, have. Uh, different teachers kind of work differently with them, but in the end of the day is what kind of person they want to be, uh, i.e. compassionate, hardworking, uh, humorous, responsible, so forth. What kind of things would I like to do? For example, travel to every continent, get a second degree, for me, write a book, and all the things I would like to have during my lifetime. And that can be anything, right? It depends on what your priorities are. One can say, I would like to have a big house or expensive car. Another one, I want to have an unlimited number of vacations or I want to have visited 20 countries, right? So something like that. So this, again, will kind of let you work through your priorities and see what you want to pursue. And you can do this activity or I would imagine probably recommend it to do this activity every year as you start your new planner and then see, uh, these are still the things that you wanna do. 
which ones of them have you already achieved? Which ones do you want to focus on this upcoming year? So it's a really good exercise. All right, so this next one is activity five, tribute statements. Imagine that it is your 80th birthday. You lived a fulfilling, rewarding life. Friends and neighbors from your personal and professional life have gathered to celebrate and pay tribute to you. What would you like them to say? And then it tells you different people. So that's actually pretty cool. I guess it's like a sort of exercise of like, what would you like to be on your gravestone? But I guess it's a bit too morbid. It's probably more exciting of thinking up to your birthday and what would each person in your life that matters to you, would you like them to say, right? Uh, for example, my children, I would like them to say, she was the most helpful, attentive mom. She always heard me out. She helped me with my homework. She taught me all the values in my life, you know, things like that. Um, and then, you know, what would you like your husband to say, your co-workers, friends, things like that. The next one here is evaluation questions. And there are, again, there are a lot of these really thinking deep questions like, what have been some of my greatest moments of happiness and fulfillment? What activities do I most enjoy and find most fulfilling in professional life? What are the activities most worth in my personal life? And so on. So again, the, the whole thing that about Franklin system that I really like is it's not just, oh, how can I stuff more into my day? How can I grind out and hustle and do more in my day? It's more of what actually matters to me, what makes me happy and what do I want to pursue and how can this planning system can help me do that. So I really appreciate it. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it and use it this year for uh, because the underlying principle behind it. So I really, really like this thought work that is included here. And then you have your personal mission statement. So then using all of these things that you just reviewed, you know, your values and your goals, what's important to you and um, uh, all the tribute statements and all of that, then you basically craft a personal mission statement for you. And you can think of it as a bunch of affirmations or a bunch of things you want to be true by the end of your life. The, the mission statement is just like every company, a large company has a mission statement, just like they have values, right? So then you're doing the same thing, but for you. Uh, for example, that they give here is, I want to use my healing talents to keep hope alive and express my vision courageously in the world and action. Or... I believe each day with courage and believe myself and others and so on and so forth. So this is a very inspirational and aspirational kind of exercise. And they give you different examples so you can see how mission statement can work. Because sometimes people get stuck on it. They feel like it's a bit too much and overwhelming to like write something out like that. But I think it's a pretty good exercise to do. And they actually give you space right here for rough draft. And then you can write a clean copy. And as you can see, everything is perforated. So you can keep all of these pages in your planner. So then again, you can review them. You can look at them, especially when there are tough days and you like sometimes wonder, why do I do even do what I do? What's the point? You can go through these and read this and remind yourself of what's important to you. Of course, there's just a sheet of notes and then you have the goal planning. So as I mentioned in the beginning, there is a pyramid uh, which has values in the beginning. That's why this section was heavily uh, based on values or focused on values. And the next one is goals. So once you figure out what your values are and what you know things are important to you, then you can set your goals based on that. And again, to give you an example, this is example sheet of what your value mission role would be and then what goal that is related to it and what are the steps and then also deadlines. So Franklin Covey doesn't necessarily use maybe the smart system. They do, but they have like their own version of that. But just like that system, they encourage to be specific, break things down in smaller pieces and assign deadline. And the reason they assign the deadline, even though I personally find deadlines stressful sometimes, it depends. It depends where I am in my life. They also believe that if you don't give deadline to something, it's always going to be like someday. And they say in that system, there is no someday, right? Someday is today. So that's why they uh, would like you to have approximate deadline to where you want to achieve the part of your goal. So then you can see yourself moving towards it and passing it and checking it off your list and making progress. So this is your example, uh, goal planning. Here they say, uh, what is your value mission role? I am a creative, right? I'm creative. So then you have goal that is based on this value. Six months from now, I will submit an article to Writer's Magazine. And then steps, how would you achieve it? You know, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, research, evaluate, write, uh, decide which subject to develop, have an editor and then mail, and then you have the dates for all of those steps to basically achieve that goal within six months to send that article. 
and then on the back and on the couple pages here you have more blank goal planning pages and um, as I mentioned a lot of the pages that are here you can also get them by themselves so if you want to have a stack of goal planning pages in addition to this if you have more goals than this then you can buy them separately or if uh, you decide to do this like five goals for the year which i think is a lot as is then next year you just get the starter pack again and then you have the sheets and then you work through that year's goals and then you have some additional forms here uh, here's a monthly expense tracker uh, date category where what cash check card and total amount and so it's the same thing on both sides then you have your budget worksheet where you break down your uh, budget and actual expenses and differences by categories so as you can see you have one of each so obviously it's not enough for you to do but it's a sampler you can check out try out for a month and see how you like it and then if you like it and it works out for you you can get a bigger sample here we have yearly income and expenses tracker so basically whatever you had here you write it out per month so then you can see how you did over the year and it's on both sides and then you have automobile information and servicing this is really cool so you have one two for two vehicles you can uh, track when the registration is what the make and serial number of it when you did maintenance what kind of maintenance it was so really really good thing to have to track and then you have business expenses sheet uh, for the whole year so then you can write out your business expenses perfect for tax time then you have sheet here with the personal information and it's from different identification numbers passwords uh, you have your employment clothing what size you have what blood type you have so all of these kind of things uh, then you have information for your family and friends again pretty cool you don't just have like or what their name is and blood type of course if they're really close enough that you would know but also what their size is for shoes for clothing what their neck size you know if you want to get a shirt so it's really cool especially during the gift time when you want to buy them stuff and then you're like what size are their shoes then you have a sheet for medical record emergency numbers medical information what facility you usually go to and here you have the doctors uh, what kind of tests you had and then uh, you have different stats for like blood pressure, heart rate, and cholesterol if you track something like that. Then you have um, the list here of special days per each month of the year. Then website tracker with passwords. Here a couple of these. And then you have just a reference sheet of weights and measures in different countries, met metric and US system. And then you have same for weights, you know, inches to centimeters and things like that. Then you have the map of the world with time zones. And then you have like an address book here with the alphabets from two. And then we have quite a few of those. Those definitely probably will, will be enough just of what's provided here. And then once we're done with here, you have set of tabs. So the tabs here are uh, planning calendars, planner guide, values, goals, finances, key information, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, and then address and phone. So these are tabs for the forms that are here. So then you just take them and insert them behind the tabs that you know have proper name on them. And this one, two, three, four, five, if you want to rename them with something else, that's why they give you those blank tabs that I showed you. So this is the starter pack. As you can see, there is a lot of information here. There is not just information of how the system works and that allows you to work through your values and your goals and determine what's important to you. They also give you samplers of useful, useful forms that you can use in your life for various things, be it medical, be it automotive, be it your household, budget, things like that. So definitely a really, really powerful uh, small pack, right? It's actually not that expensive if you want to get it and try out the system. It does come with the page finder, so that's really definitely a plus. And as I mentioned, comes with a year's worth of this weekly compass. So this is not like your regular weekly, you know, when you write, oh, I have appointment this, appointment that. This is more of for you to be able to focus as at what do I want to do or improve this week specifically based on your role, right? So for example, if you want to be a better mother or better daughter, uh, a better coworker or better writer or better musician or better artist, 
you ride that roll and you give yourself, uh, you know, the, the what they call it, big rocks. It's like the important one important or two important things per each role that you want to achieve. And for example, if your role is to be a better parent, one big rock would be uh, spend at least 15 minutes uh, hearing out my children every evening, you know, hearing out their problems, giving them solutions. Um, of course, this is not the only thing you're going to do, but it's like, oh, you want to make sure that that is definitely done no matter what. Or if you want to be a better musician or better writer uh, or, or artist of any kind, you can say, I'm going to spend one hour every day practicing my craft, right? Or my art. So um, these are the things in this packet. So let me see. I want to put some of them into here. I don't think I will put all of them because there's quite few and my planner is already pretty thick. But I definitely want to put this one in. And because of that, I'm going to grab one of the weekly compass. Uh, strips here that I already bent and put it into the ruler. I will not fill it out here because I want to sit down and do the rest of the goal setting stuff before I write everything out but I do want to put one in the ruler and put the ruler inside of the planner. All right so just put it in like that and uh, as I mentioned Franklin Covey comes in uh, three or four different sizes and each size I believe has the same ruler. Uh, in you know size properly for that uh, specific planner and I can put it here for now so I think these are gonna keep them together with the rest of the extra forms I'm not gonna keep it in here in my planner and then besides that I have these so these are the intro the planning and then uh, let's see okay let's Hold on, let's set it aside because there are a lot of them and I don't want this video to be like five hours long. By the way, I did a little bit of moving around. So the things that I had here, I moved a couple of them down and then I took this Moon Girl and uh, with this new Ollie Clip. It's not Ollie Clip brand, but you know, magnetic clip. I put her here on this fly leaf and I have my stickers here still. So all of this is similar to what you've seen last week. I've been uh, using my planner tabs. I've been definitely growing my uh, list for April. <laughs> Here's my master task list that I'm putting on. I'm not doing a lot of them yet, but definitely I started my list and then I'll, I'll get used to, you know, moving them across from day to week, from week to day to next month if need. Um, I also put in here this tracker. Uh, so this one is just a monthly tracker. I put them in between the month. This is not Franklin Covey Company's uh, insert, but um, this is one of the ones that I've got uh, on Etsy and I've been tracking walking, meditation, sleep, and drinking water in here. Some I did okay, some not so well, but that's what is here to indicate where I am succeeding and where I need to, need to keep up with it. And my weeklies are in here. So this is current week here. Um, I love these uh, Kina Prince forms, so, so I think I'll be continuing uh, using them because uh, I really like the way they're working out for me. So I've been tracking my mood here and all of that. And then, uh, so this was my weekly tab here, my daily tabs, and we are in April. I put May Paper, May paper Call uh, month opener here because um, they have like a calendar here, even though I don't need the calendar, but I thought it was really cool to have like a bigger title page with the month name on it so then when I open it I see what month it is and then I have my dailies so I've been using them every day and um, they come in this uh, monochromatic like gray with marble uh, uh, accent here so I've been using my uh, mint mark plus to just add a little bit of color just so it's a little bit lively plus I love this uh, kind of color so I've been doing my schedule my priorities my notes and then in the last few days, I actually also put some stickers here because I had kind of free uh, space on the bottom. These are my bookish stickers. A book a day keeps a reality away. Very much true. And this is today and I put my weekend is all booked. <laughs> so I think it's cute. I don't think I don't have anything here except a couple tasks that I know I will be doing tomorrow. So, so far these are tasks that I want to do today. So film video, this is what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna edit it. I wanna do to um, go to storage. I wanna do laundry. And actually, let's be proper Franklin planners. I know I should prioritize it. I haven't done it yet, but uh, when you're working on something, you can put dot when you're in progress. So I'm doing this. 
I'm doing this while we are filming and then um, any other things once I do them I can check them off or if I don't end up doing them then I'm gonna put error and move them to the following day so because I'm here this is where I wanted to use this ruler for so then when I need to go to the day and not just the week I can use this one so let's pretend we close it right so the planner is closed and then if I want to go to weekly I'm gonna grab this today and I'm here and if I want to do daily I know that it's further out which is cool because most of the rulers are kind of here this one is further out I can just fill where my furthest uh, ruler is and then this way I can flip to my daily and here's my weekly goals and that's the whole point of it that it's not just a page finder that you can flip to where you at in your daily you have your weekly goals like your weekly focus basically right in front of you and that's what they call it compass right it guides you to where you want to go so this is really cool and then if I would add any of these they most likely will go in the back so right now I have my dailies and after that I have my meal planner here I have my span tracker here I have my zone cleaning which I need to update and then I have my like journal and reading and, and then I have uh, just extra forms here for the annual forms that I'm thinking to use but I haven't used yet and then I just have um, the coupon here from Franklin uh, coffee company and um, I can have these as they are and if I'm gonna add these tabs then most likely they're probably gonna go in front of this because this is my like a fun section and this is my like serious planning section so I will work through these and see which ones I want to keep and which ones gonna be in the storage binder um, and then once I set all of that up I'm gonna show it to you guys uh, in the, on Instagram or in the next video we can have like a more fuller walkthrough of how my planner is looking now so this is what i have for you today hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully it was useful to you to kind of familiarize you with how franklin copy system works and one different options and forms they provide um, all of these they are available on franklin copy website i'll put link to it in the description down below you can also get a lot of these from amazon as well uh, not all colors or all sizes are available there but if you order them from amazon it still gets shipped from franklin copy company so it's up to you uh, whichever way you want to go with those but um there you have it thank you for being here with me as we open this and walk through all of the different forms that they give in the startup pack and if you like this kind of videos please like please subscribe and i will see you in the next video and until then you take care bye